Hi guys and welcome to Metagaming TV. We are going to take a look at crafting in the game Spellweaver. Crafting is something you unlock as you play the game. Uh, once you reach level 11, you unlock crafting. Uh, now, I am level 1. This is day 1. Open, beta, sneak, peek, preview, week, basically. they, uh, Those of us who uh, donated money towards the developers got in a week early. The free-to-play open beta starts a week from now, as I'm recording this. Um, we were lucky to get a media key, uh, so basically the media key gave us access to uh, trials and crafting and all that stuff starting at level 1. So I just want you guys to see how crafting works and how, it, how you go about doing it. Once you hit level 11, it unlocks for you. Um, basically you just need to play games to gain fame. Uh, while gaining fame, you gain booster packs, gold, cards, stuff like that. So uh, you'll be getting some stuff until then. So basically, I'm going to go to my collection. I have a shit ton of cards. Uh, this is because we we bought a lot of booster packs. And you'll see, there's another YouTube video where you can see me opening 118 booster packs, basically. I had eight when I started the game. Uh, some re uh, three... You get three weekly with a premium account, and I got five uh, for the games I played in closed beta, which was a few. Um, so we bought a few more. So we opened 118 packs, and as you can see, uh, one set of cards is essentially four. I have 23 of Tor Touch of Light, I have 25 of Pacify, I have a lot of cards I don't need. Uh, I even have, if you look at heroes, uh, you can only have one hero. I have three of that one, two of that one, three of that one, three of that one. So I have a few heroes that I don't need or copies that I don't need. Uh, however, if we go to black and we look at, we don't look at heroes, but we look at all the cards and we look at epic or rare maybe even. I want dark portal, which is an epic card and it's good for a demon deck that I am planning to probably build or make. Um, I'm going to craft myself one more dark portal. I have one, I want, let's say one more. Let's let's do one more. Uh, so I go to, I, I basically click the card I want. I have crafting here uh, at the bottom and it cost me 150 shrines to craft this. If I have uh, an excess amount of this, then I can unbind it. A epic card gives you 30 shrines per copy. I think the the common ones give you one, the basic ones, right? Uh, so there you go. Like you unbind the cards you have excess of, and you get shrines. Shrines is basically land uh, from Magic: The Gathering. It's in this game you get level or mana while playing it in a match. Uh, so there's no special resource. They use the shrines uh, as the resource, basically. Uh, so you don't want to use up all of them. I don't even think you can. I think you have to keep at least 20 of them. You can't use up every single shrine in crafting so that you at least can make a deck with some shrines in it or you wouldn't be getting any mana. You wouldn't be able to make a deck that you can play. Um, you have Quick Unbind here. And Quick Unbind unbinds all excess corruption cards because this is the faction corruption or color black. Uh, you will get 270 shrines for a total of 324. Uh, it adds up the 54 with the 270 I would get for unbinding every single access corruption card that I have. And that's what I'm just about to do here. All right, quick unbind. It opens up a summary of how many of each card you have access and how much it gives you. So I have 122 commons that I have access of. So it gives me one shrine per card. It's uh, 122. 19 uncommons. That gives two per card, 38. Uh, five rares gives 10 per card, so that's equal 50, and I have two epics. This is actually the heroes, the hero cards are epic as well, so that's actually the two um, corruption heroes that I have. And they give 30, per shr uh, 30 shrines per card equals 60 shrines. So I total 250, and there we go. I just got 270 corruption shrines crafted. All right, and as I said, I would like to make another dark portal. So let's craft another dark portal. 
crafting. And now I have 324 cards here to use for crafting. And I haven't thought this through, through that much yet. I'm actually going to build a demon deck. Uh, but my first deck is probably going to be uh, Dominion, the purple color. So I'm going to just make one because I know I'm going to have want to have at least one more. And I want to see if there's any other cards I want to craft using my shrines. So I want to be a bit careful not spending all of them at once. So one dark portal more is what I want to make. Um, here it is actually asking me for amount. Um, so basically, before I have one, after I have one. Well, that, that I guess, is not zero. I don't know why you can choose that. It makes no sense, but it's there. So um, this makes one, so I'll have two. And here I can make so much that I have three. But I only want to have two. Max usable. <laughs> If you didn't know, and it also tells you how many shrines you have, how many you're gonna have left over. So I just crafted one, and there we go. It's a little bit of lag on the server day one, as always for a new game. Uh, you just crafted Dark Portal. Demon cards cost you one less to play. Basically, good for a demon deck, right? At the start of my turn, Dark Portal gains one energy and you lose life equal to its energy uh, then search your deck for a demon card with level less or equal to that number and put it in your hand shuffle deck. this is this is gonna be an interesting deck that I'm thinking about building uh, and that's basically it guys that's that's basically how you craft cards in Spellweaver it's going free to play open beta uh, next starting next week uh, 15th of June basically um, if you're watching this before then, you can still get a premium account, which gives you some extra star decks. It gives you uh, some crystals every day. Uh, you only need to log in twice, uh, once a week to get it, uh, and you get you can get like a you know special back on the cards, some fluff like that. But basically, you can uh, you can help fund some of the uh, stretch goals that they have going on on their website. Uh, Right now, the closest one to finish is Android version of the game. Uh, I would love two versus two. Go for two versus two, guys. That's what I want to. <laughs> what I have. That's what I put my money towards. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and please watch us on Twitch.tv/metagamingtv as we stream Spellweaver and other games. I hope you. I hope you get some good cards in your booster packs and that you. And I should craft the cards that you like. I have no good exit. This is it.